Good afternoon from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Gaylord, Michigan, and this is the latest hazardous weather briefing for Thursday, July the 4th, Independence Day 2013. Just a quick cap of our hazardous weather highlights over the next several days. There will be a chance for thunderstorms across all of northern Michigan at various times from the time period Sunday through Wednesday of next work week. But starting out with the current weather map from this afternoon, we do have a broad area of high pressure in place across the Great Lakes region and the east coast as we speak. We do have a nice moisture feed starting from the Gulf of Mexico up through the southeast states and into the Ohio River Valley. Much of this moisture with showers and thunderstorms is expected to remain largely to our south and east of northern Michigan. Some of this may push up into parts of southeast lower Michigan over the next few days and maybe graze parts of Saginaw, the Saginaw Valley. But by and large, dry conditions are expected at least through Friday and into Saturday of this weekend. Stepping forward in, through the forecast weather maps by Friday afternoon, that system will remain stalled across the southeast states with that moisture feed pushing showers and storms up into the Ohio River Valley and again just off to our south and east of northern Michigan. We will remain under the influence of high pressure with south to southwest winds pouring in warmer air and more muggier air up into northern Michigan. But generally speaking, a dry afternoon is on tap again and warmer temperatures for Friday afternoon. As we get into Saturday and eventually Saturday afternoon, not much has changed at this point either. We will see temperatures pushing into the 80s easily by Saturday for, the, for daytime highs. And again, with increasing moisture and humidity across the region, there will be a very low end chance for a few pop-up showers, maybe a thunderstorm across part, parts of northern Michigan, but the chances are very small at this point. So overall, we we'll look for dry conditions across northern Michigan for Saturday as well. And then as we get into Sunday, With increasing temperatures and humidity across the region and a front that is beginning to push into the western Great Lakes by later in the day Sunday, there will be at least a chance for a few showers and storms later in the day Sunday and then going through Sunday night into Monday as this front makes its way into the western Great Lakes region. But all in all, the upcoming holiday weekend is looking to be dry and warm and with increasing humidity values across the northern part of the state. Then by Monday, that front will press into the northern part of the state. And again, this is probably our best chance for some showers and some thunderstorms. That is Sunday night going into Monday as this front moves into the region. But for the upcoming uh, 4th of July holiday weekend, warm and muggy conditions for the 4th of July. And through the weekend for tonight, look for generally partly cloudy conditions across the area. Pleasant conditions for fireworks across northern Michigan. Temperatures will drop down into the upper 50s to the lower 60s for overnight low temperatures. And then again, that hazards outlook. Thunderstorms are possible, and this it begins basically from Sunday, late Sunday through Wednesday of next week. And then again, mainly during each afternoon and evening across northern Michigan. Well, that concludes this hazardous weather briefing for this afternoon. Thanks for listening in. The next update will occur around 5 a.m. tomorrow morning.